Hey everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be looking at upgrading our HUD icons um, that are already within here. Um, mainly looking at setting up our um, different health um, stamina. Um, I want to add in some XP and a level kind of icon just in this bottom right corner and make them all kind of link up together quite nicely. So I have gone ahead and created a few um, different textures to use. Uh, you need to open up each one of them and set them to go to the texture group and set them to UI. Uh, we can <clears throat> do this for every one of them. And you can set this for any of your um, HUD icons. You can do it for every one of them. Uh, I've done crosses before. I've done um, little running people that can be used for stamina. I've also done, oh God, uh, food icons and water bottles for water and thirst and things like that. So you can do near enough anything. As long as you have a full version and an empty version, you can pretty much do it. Um, now, the next thing we want to do is come to where it is. So we want to grab our style. We want to pick a background image. For this, we want to pick our, let's find a hexagon. Empty. It's set to 800 to 800 by for now, so let's set the size to 800. Oh, 800 by 800. Now, this is pretty big to be fair. Uh, obviously, the fill isn't set yet, so we can't really do much with that until we've set that up. But that's the size of 800 by 800, so you're probably looking for something a lot tinier, so you might want to change the texture size it should be okay actually for me just to go 100 by 100 yeah that works fine and even that's probably still a bit too big um then you want to come to the fill image the image is 800 by 800 again type in hexagon find that there we go it's, and if we zoom in, you can already see the, the bars set up quite nicely, but you probably want to change it from left to right to top to bottom. No, other way around, bottom to top. There we go. So that's our stamina. If we do the same for, um, let's just type in empty, empty hexagon, uh, and set that to 100 by 100 as well. Oh, I did 40. There we go. Um, and then again, set the fill as well to our um, health hexagon, like so. And the idea was that I wanted them to sort of sit on one another. It's probably not quite the best. I did do this in like... Uh, MS Paint in like 30 seconds, so I will get some proper ones, but this was just to show you this tutorial about putting in custom HUD options. Um, and then, of course, I want two more uh, that haven't been set up yet. So these are fine for now, just to just sort of bung in the bottom right. Um, but the idea is I will have like this kind of full hexagon of stuff going on. Um, so I want to have stamina, health, um, I'm probably going to have XP here and then have our level here so that it's kind of all fits in nicely. Again, this is just a plug-in for this tutorial, but obviously I will put in some nicer, fancier ones down the line. I'm also still thinking about what I kind of want to do with this bottom right, but hopefully, fingers crossed, that should be all we need to do and we can play and check. So the first easy one to check is our stamina. If I start running, it should start emptying. There we go. And when I let go, it obviously starts going back up again. And
and let's just check our health. Whoa, our health goes down and health goes up. There we go. So that's all working. Again, it's a little bit off place, but um, yeah, it's working. It is working nicely. So hopefully your custom icons will now obviously do the same as well. Um, and thank you so much guys for watching. Uh, let me know if this was helpful to you and if you need any tutorials done. And of course, uh, like and if you've really enjoyed yourself, subscribe. Uh, it's free to do and it really does help me out. You can always change your mind um, down the line. And uh, I'll see you in tomorrow's tutorial. Take care. Bye.